Hey everyone, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you some true using up your scraps. As you can see, I have Monopoly cards and I have used them as little notebooks. So I have all kinds of miscellaneous paper in here, um, just all kinds, and yes, lots of it I cut. Um, but the plain paper, I did not. I took it to a print shop, and I'm trying to think if I took a whole ream. I think I did. And for $5, they cut the whole ream down to the size I wanted. Um, I will say, <laughs> they messed with me a little bit because I did ask for all of my scraps back. I figured the strips and everything, and I didn't get those. They had tossed them. Um, and to be honest with you, I got out of there and by the time I got home is when I realized that I didn't have my scraps and didn't want to go all the way back. But it was, it was worth them cutting the majority of the paper. So I, this is one whole set of Monopoly cards. And I want to say there's about, I tried to do about a hundred pieces of paper in here and, um, this is just a matter of some busy work, sitting in front of the TV, piling up your paper, um, pulling your scrap paper and getting it cut down to size. And then, of course, I have a machine that does the binding. And years and years ago, I pretty much bought a professional machine so I can cut as many of the holes as I need. As you can see on this one, I've cut four in a row, and in this one, I, I skipped one um, because of the rings. Now, the rings is something I want to explain to you. <laughs> like many of us, we keep everything. So I ended up, years ago, I did some art journals with all kinds of paper, and I still have some in my Etsy shop if you're interested. Those are... Um, it's just a ring bound notebook, but I use it for all kinds of stuff. I use it to keep business cards in one place. I, I will art journal in it. I'll doodle in it. Um, I don't know, just artsy stuff in it. And it's getting a little gatored mouth and I decorated the cover of it. But anyhow, I do have some in my Etsy shop. But what happened is I ended up with leftover pieces of rings when... I bound them and the rings were so long. Let me show you these. <laughs> of course, I'm going to make a mess here and all kinds of noise. Um, so this is the ring that I used for those. And this is my leftover pieces. And this one, I'm, I must have done something else in the past and kept some of these smaller pieces. So that's when you see the rings like this, that's what these pieces are. They're those. Um, if you see the big ones like this, that's these. And um, when I opened this up, this was my intention to use all of these first. When I opened it up, I've got this big old gap. And it doesn't really bother me a whole lot because the notebooks then can lay flat. Um, but I thought, what can I do? So what I did is you can, and I, I just did a little bit of this to show you, so you can go to it. We also usually all end up with pieces of scrap ribbon. Um, so you could load this up with ribbon, and it would be really pretty then, the ribbon poking through on the back side. But I just wanted to show you, you know, you can take something, I mean, you don't have to use Monopoly cards. You know, you might have maybe some playing cards, some odd ones, or... I don't know, something else that's some kind of card thing. And I'm um, on the back. We all have tons of chipboard. You know, we get off the back of pads of paper or we get inside some packaging, um, whatever. Um, so, you know, just go to town. And, of course, you don't have to make 27 of them. That's how many cards are in a Monopoly set. <laughs> you don't have to make 27 of them. But I had the rings. Um, like I said, I had all the scrap rings and so, you know, I, I had been wanting to use these and, um, once I had the paper cut, I'm going to be honest with you. I did have to walk away for a little while because getting all that paper down to the size, all the stray paper that I had, uh, kind of got to me after a while, but look at them. Aren't they adorable? So these are going to be some gifts for people. 
um, a little later down the road. And I hope they like them and use them. Um, the other thing that I also have is I also have some of the plastic rings. Now, I didn't use these, um, but these are some scraps I have of those also. This is how I bind some booklets that I have my stamp. Um, I stamp all of my stamps in it, whether they are mounted or unmounted or acrylic. I stamp my stamps. I also... Um, all my embossing folders, I also emboss a piece and put that in a notebook. So all of my notebooks are bound like this. So if I'm going to a craft show to buy, I can take those notebooks with me and I can flip through. I can't tell you how many times I have bought the same stamp. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's just a waste of money. Um... You know, because I'm not going to hold on to that stamp for a year and return it to those people or swap it out. I usually end up giving it to somebody. Um, but now that I've made these notebooks, it's it's a whole lot better. And, you know, if you want to ask any questions about that, I'll be glad to help you or do another video down the road on how I organize um, the little notebooks and stuff. But anyhow, this is my project this time. Again, using up scraps wire scraps, paper scraps, chipboard scraps, the cards I had. Um, you know, you pick up things. I picked up a couple of Monopoly games, I think for like a dollar a piece. I knew one day I'd do something with them. One at the cards, one at the paper money in them. Um, and even the game boards, you can do journal covers. You can use them for your sprays to block off your desk, you know, like a wall. I mean, there's stuff you can do with that. So just remember that I do a video every Tuesday evening. Hopefully it goes out at 6 p.m. Eastern. You can also find me on Facebook. I have a group, a page, and my own private Facebook. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And like I mentioned before, I do have a small Etsy shop. Not a whole lot in it, but you never know. You might want a book plate. I do leather book plates. And I also um, have some blueprints in addition to those journals. And hopefully I'll be adding a few things here and there in the um, weeks to come. So I do appreciate your time. And please be safe out there. And I'll catch you going down the road. See you next time. Bye.